aircraft carriers are amongst the most dangerous places in the world, or at least potentially dangerous. If you think about it, there's these monstrous ships swaying in the waves, bouncing up and down, and these multi-million dollars airplanes are flying on them, landing on a very short strip that they often have to catch on a wire. It's a remarkable feat to watch. Not only that, but they're often staffed by 18-year-olds or 19-year-olds who change every six months. I mean, think about the, what safety challenges they have. And yet, they are amongst some of the safest places. And why is that possible? Well, it's possible because they've created a culture that respects the frontline workers, that understands that they have the knowledge of how to keep things safe, and they standardize, they have independent checks. Let me, let me give you an example. There was a story about an aircraft carrier that was running a mission and a uh, very senior pilot was flying the mission and they had finished and was, was eager. They were all eager to, to land. I think there were some dignitaries coming to visit the aircraft carrier. And one of the technicians, a, me a mechanic, was out on that landing deck and the plane had been waved in and he was worried that there might have been a hammer. He may have left his hammer on the um, tarmac where the plane lands and obviously if it did it could be disastrous. They'd blow out a tire, the plane could explode and he really wasn't sure if he did so he ran out and waved off the plane, right? And waved off the plane, the planes are all in formation and just so you know these things aren't trivial. They're enormously expensive. I mean, millions of dollars in fuel and, and staff time and delays and he missed these dignitaries. It turns out the hammer wasn't there. There was no real risk, but he thought it was. Now, in many organizations, that mechanic perhaps would lose their job, they'd be chastised, uh, and they certainly wouldn't be rewarded. But in this culture, a culture that respects safety, this worker was rewarded because they said he took the personal initiative to protect other people's lives and the very valuable equipment. And yes, he was wrong, but he acted on a good hunch and he was rewarded for that, publicly congratulated for his commitment to safety. That's the kind of culture that we need to create in our healthcare environment.